The annual See Here Now Festival in Asbury Park is back this year, but in order to attend, you'll need a negative test or proof of a full COVID-19 vaccination. The two-day festival is taking place this weekend and includes a lineup of Pearl Jam, Smashing Pumpkins, and Billy Idol. The event, by the way, is sold out. Welcome back. It is Suicide Prevention Month, and it's especially important this year after coming out of some scary times, a pandemic, and the end of our longest war. But as Jersey Matters' Kimberly Kravitz tells us, this is an important conversation to have all year long. Kimberly. Suicide is the second leading cause of death in New Jersey, and many of us know the risk factors, and we know the importance of hope. Ryan Wares is one example of someone who's had a second chance at life. For the longest time, I kept it secret. Um, I didn't want people to feel bad for me. Um, I didn't want to be a burden on other people. Ryan, who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, was hospitalized after attempting to take his life. He is still traumatized over what he experienced overseas. I saw a lot of bodies. Um, I had a, a lot of friends that I lost. Um, I watched a friend of mine commit suicide while I was in Iraq. Uh, and then when I came home, I struggled. And then my best friend was killed in Afghanistan. A new report out by the VA shows a decrease in veteran suicides, but with the recent news of Afghanistan, Ryan believes this can bring on a lot of turmoil and bad memories. When something like this happens with the Marines and the corpsman and Army soldier that was killed, it, it really brings back ba bad memories. It really just... It, it's very possible that I could send somebody back into a tailspin. But suicide and depression doesn't discriminate, as Nikki Nordquist points out. And I think that a lot of different people of all walks of life struggle with mental health, whether it be depression, anxiety, suicide ideation. And the biggest issue is that people are afraid that they're going through it alone. Nikki, a clinical counselor and author of Close to the Bone, dealt with her own demons as a child. When I was younger, I struggled with self-harm. I didn't know where I belong. In the town nearby where Nikki grew up, Manasquan experienced an unfortunate scenario of youth suicide clusters between 2008 and 2012. The pact claimed at least 10 lives. When you're young, you are so impressionable that you don't see any other way. It's such a concentrated amount of suicides in a very similar way that Monmouth County has experienced, and it's tragic, um, that it, it is a tragic phenomenon. It's basically lifting the lid on impulse, because at that time period, um, you need someone to show a potential way out. And unfortunately for many people, they view suicide as the only way out. It basically gives permission. As Dr. Williams points out, there are several reasons why this particular time of year is used to raise awareness to suicide. September is that transition from fall to, you know, from summer to fall. And then we know the winter months for some people are a trigger. We know that uh, transition points for people that are going through school or new occupations when the new year hit. There's always a time year round where there is a risk factor and we know that. So this is not something to just set and forget. This is something that we need to check in with each other, especially after the past year and a half. So if you are struggling and seeking help, you can call the New Jersey Suicide Prevention Hopeline at 1-855-654-6735. Or you can call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. Reporting for Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Thank you, Kimberly. My commentary is next.